Running any campaign means in a small way we all become marketers and entertainers. It's our job to present our brand in a way our audiences will accept, process, and recollect when it matters. A large part of this process concerns the presentation of the signs and the decisions we make prior to purchasing, such as the fonts, image sizes, clarity, and the expected distance and speed the audience will see your signage. We can imagine there being a peak point for every sign, the point in which your audience is neither too far away or too close. We'll call this the target distance, and all of your design decisions revolve around this point, or range, depending on a number of factors we're going to dive into. These factors can change from case to case, depending on who your target audience is, such as the street pedestrian versus the passing car. Rule 1. As the distance and speed increases of your passing audience, your signage should become larger and the message simpler. This will increase the awareness of your signage when your audience may only have moments to glance at your sign. Rule 2. Take your message and boil it down to the smallest, most easily comprehensible message possible. As one would imagine, as we add more content to a sign, the text or images must become smaller to accommodate more content. Following this path, we risk losing our audience's interest as they pass your signage. This factor only amplifies as the speed and distance of the audience increases. Rule 3. Take special care when choosing the colors for your campaign signage and consider the locations your signage will be placed at. You wouldn't want the colors to seemingly fade into the background because they aren't noticeable. We'll cover the basics of color design in a different video, however. Rule 4. Take another look at your sign placement. Ideally, your signage should be in an area that is well kept or above any foliage that may get in the way. Scope out in advance areas that will receive high traffic and take into consideration traffic patterns based on the time of day. Also, take into account how wind or dust will affect your sign and consider upgrading to Protection Plus or adding wind slits for banners. When we enter the world of campaign promotion, it's often beneficial to take a step back and look at the signage from your audience's perspective. Is the sign large enough? How far away is it? Is the audience expected to be moving quickly or slowly? Is the image clear? Is there too much content to be read or understood quickly? These are the questions every sign should be pressed on, and the results will be in your audience's response.